Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day for the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for September the 16th of 2020. Well, it is titled gravel ejected from asteroid Bennu. So what do we see here? Well, this is a close up image of portion of an asteroid, asteroid known as Bennu. And this is one that is actually being explored right now by the Osiris Rex spacecraft. And it arrived there in 2018. And next month in October, it is going to touch down on the asteroid and collect a sample of material to bring that back to the Earth. So it'll be a chance to study up close a piece of an asteroid. Now asteroids for the most part we only see as little specks of light. We can't see this kind of detail because they are so small and it takes actually traveling out to the asteroid to be able to examine them. So there are only a handful that have been examined up close and Bennu is one of them that is we are now going to bring a sample of back to Earth. So if all goes well next month the sample will be selected and then be brought back to Earth in 2023. Of course, what we're looking at this image is material that is being ejected off of the surface of the asteroid. Now you might wonder why that might happen. Normally here on Earth, if something ejects or is erupted, it goes up and it comes back down. On an asteroid, the gravity is much lower. And that means that with enough force, you could actually lift something off the surface of the asteroid and cause it to reach escape velocity, and meaning that it will escape away from the object and travel out into space. So that's kind of what we're seeing here. There are a number of theories as to what this might be. It could be something due to impacts. If an impact occurred with enough force, it could actually rip material off of the asteroid. Or it could be something a closer in that is actually erupting it off the asteroid, maybe a geyser of some kind. And again, we have to think of them that they're on a much different scale than we're used to seeing here on Earth. A geyser or a volcano here on Earth would not be able to erupt with enough force to break the Earth's gravity. And that's because the Earth has a much larger mass. The asteroid with a much smaller mass has a smaller gravitational field and a smaller escape velocity, making it much easier to escape. So if you could travel to a small enough asteroid, you would be able to throw an object off and so that it would not return something that would be quite impossible for an individual to do here on Earth. So hopefully our studies of material from Bennu will give us a better idea of these asteroids. And in fact, one of the things we're looking for is organic compounds that could be related to and maybe tell us a little bit about the origin of life on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for September the 15th of 2020. It was titled Gravel Ejected from Asteroid Bennu. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.